As we remember those who lost their lives on this tragic day 18 years ago, we take a moment to remember a woman from the village of Wellsville. She was killed when the plane crashed into her floor on one of the towers. First News Weekend anchor Connor Kick takes a look at the life of Katherine Salter. Silence overcame the village of Wellsville this morning as they remembered one of their own. Catherine Salter lost her life on 9-11. She'd been working in the South Tower as a vice president of a risk management company. There laying a wreath this morning was her mother, who took the time today to reflect. Wasn't sure which tower Catherine was in, and then he came and told me that the second tower had been hit, and she was on the floor of the second tower where the plane hits. Catherine grew up in Wellsville, attending the local schools. She'd moved to New York to pursue her dreams, and her job took her to the World Trade Centers, a place where she won't be forgotten. That during the year, for everybody's birthday, they'll put a white rose on their name. So I do know that she's being remembered in New York, which is important. That's where she wanted to be. After 18 years, the pain doesn't pass. I kind of get a little bit um, agitated, I guess you might say, and um, it becomes like if today was 9-11-2001, all over again. The memorial, a reminder and an honor for Catherine. The fact that Wellsville continues to remember her is what I think she really would have gotten a kick out of, you know? So. In Wellsville, Connor Kick, WKBN 27 First News.